made a flight of stairs for y'all. <laughs> um, a good day, uh, an important day for our football team. Um, to be able to be here in this facility, uh, isn't it gorgeous? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, thank you to our, our administration, uh, to the city of Los Angeles, um, to the architects, the contractors, the workers, uh, our veterans who gave us the freedom to play in this terrific place, and the donors that allowed this to happen. To be in this uh, unbelievable facility and have the opportunity to play in front of our fans, and thanks to our fans, a ton of performance anxiety got out today. Um, to be able to play, you know, about an hour and a half of live football straight, put them in some situations from third down situations, two minute situations, and just play live football. Um, we got better today. Um, we'll look, go back, watch this tape, grade this tape, and and move forward. But uh, a good day for our, our entire team. With that, I'll take any questions that you got. Your initial thoughts on just the quarterbacks, what you learned from them today? Yeah, I thought they made great decisions today. You know, you didn't see any forced balls that looked like great poise. Each one of them led long drives. You know, there weren't weren't any turnovers, so you, you really didn't have any set situations where sudden change, you were going the long way about every time. And uh, I thought there was uh, consistency and poise amongst all of them from freshmen all the way up. Um, it was nice to see, and, and that's what you hope to see as you're going into your third week of, of uh, training camp. So. Um, good day by them. I look forward to watching the tape. Have I know you, you talked about going to the spot. Yeah. Sorry. Have you seen separation at that spot? Um, I'm going to watch it today. I, I thought all the kids, again, I thought they made good decisions. I thought the ball came out quick. I didn't see a lot, a ton of sacks to hold it on to it. Um, it you know, I will, I will say I thought our receivers made some dynamic plays today. That's what they're supposed to do. Uh, we've got a rule if we touch it, we catch it. And, you know, I thought they made some really good plays, and the, and the quarterbacks gave them opportunities to make plays. You didn't see a ton of overthrows. They found the one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and they gave their chance, uh, a guy a chance to make a play. I know you talked about going to the 17th for the competition at quarterback. Do you feel like this next week he'll be ready to name a starter? Well, we're going to look at this tape and see where we're at. You know, I'm, I'd be honest with you, in this position, you look, I've never had this four quarterbacks that could – start on a lot of football teams across the country and all are playing at a high level. Um, it's really progressed everybody. I'm so glad that we have done this. Um, I'm going to sit down with Graham um, on Monday. Uh, we're going to take tomorrow off. Uh, it's been 17 days straight uh, and I think all of us are <laughs> need a break from each other uh, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm going to give the guys off tomorrow. We're going to come in on Monday and uh, grade this football tape and uh, be ready for a great Tuesday practice. See where we're at. Thoughts, thoughts on your defense? Just um, you know, I, really, probably the thing that showed up most, and it was really good to get in this live atmosphere, Dan, is just uh, the youth at secondary and, and being able to um, go up against what I, I consider one of the better groups in the country right now, a receiver. Um, I told everybody, I said, guys, this, this experience for us is invaluable. Um, whether it was successes or failures, everybody's going to learn from it. And there were some really good plays made in the secondary, and then there were some one-on-one -on -one balls where some older kids uh, that have played a lot of football made plays. And, and uh, I'll never forget the Dory Jackson and Juju Smith going against each other each and every day. And uh, it was 50-50 battles. <laughs> half the time one would win and the other half the other would win. And, but uh, Dory would always tell me, Coach, I, I love going against that guy because I'm going to learn something each and every time. Whether I succeed or fail, I learn something. As you transition to Fresno State prep and kind of leave training camp, what's mm -hmm. your biggest concern? Um, you know, continuing for me, probably the youth in the secondary, keeping developing them. Um, the one thing that I, I really have been pleased with is the dynamic of um, the safety and nickel positions right now. You know, when you look at Talanoa and what he's done in this camp, Isaiah Polamau, um, and then Chase Williams and Greg Johnson at safety and nickel. and. and uh, those guys really, you can see the experience. They've played ball before. They look poised. Um, it's going to be really for us on the outside with some corners um, that uh, are going to learn fast uh, and learn from each experience. We may have some growing pains early, but I'm going to tell you this. They are talented, talented individuals. And and um, as they grow, we'll grow as a defense. Is Greg yeah, still on the cornerback mix, or is he now focused on safety? And he'll, be, he'll be both. That's the beauty. You know, we're double training Chase at, at nickel and, and safety, and we're double training Greg. I get nickel and corner, and that's the beauty of those guys. They're multi-purpose. The other area of concern has been the offensive line. Mm -hmm. What was your take? 
the um, offensive line. They've really grown up, Dan, I'll be honest with you. From from physically, you know, just their stature, the way they look right now, uh, credit double A, uh, Aaron Osmus for what he's done in the strength and conditioning. We've been waiting on this group to really grow up. And, you know, when you look at that front five and, and then you throw Drew Richmond in the mix, you, you bring over Liam Jimmins, who's a huge individual. Um, and it, it's really a group that uh, I think is going to be the most improved group on our team uh, as we take game one. What's your assessment of the running attack today? Um, I, th I thought it was just okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm look forward to going back and watching the film. There was some holes that got hit, um, uh, and then um, there were some times below the box that we sh shoved the ball up in there. Anyways, we, we forced some runs um, and wanted to see it. You know, we may have called something different based on the coverages we were getting, but um, I, I think it was I think it was okay today, and it's still a work in progress. Just being honest and. Uh, um, as one thing is taken away, the other thing should thrive. And today the passing game thrived and the running game got the ball in in the red zone, which was nice to see. But I think um, there will be a couple runs we'll look back at and go, wow, okay, there was a hole there. Wish, wish we would got more out of that. Clint Drew Richmond on both sides. Where would he fit in for you right now? Yeah, you know, he's doing a great job uh, at tackle right now for us. You know, we're double training guys um, a bunch. You know, he's been left and right. Um, he's, you know, obviously at Tennessee, uh, he was their starting right tackle, did a tremendous job for him. He's really done some left tackle for us. Um, and, you know, so he's multi purpose. Uh, you know, you look at guys like Andrew Voorhees, who's a guard tackle, Jalen McKenzie, who's a tackle guard. You know, that's what you work on because it's a long season um, and if you have one go down you're always trying to find the best five you know when you don't want two guys sitting behind each other that are really good you want to try to find your best five and put them out there at a time Chris, yeah, you, two uh, more questions I know you talked about it a little bit last week but have you guys figured out what's going on with the brew I mean has there been any sort of diagnosis yeah he's actually actually doing really really well uh, a lot better um, you know he's in meetings right now he's doing everything except being out on the field uh, with us and 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 I even I saw him today and he's he's doing better he's doing better you know when he feels totally up to it we'll start strength and conditioning with him but he's heading in the right direction is there an official diagnosis of what he has? Uh, I'm not going to do that as far as medical uh, things but uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into privacy of, of a medical do document, but uh, but he's doing well and he's going to be well. What about the status of his waiver? Uh, I'm, I'm still in process right now. No, what do you no think, work. What do you think the front seven? Um, I thought really I, when I go back and look at it, I thought the pass rushers did a nice job. There were a ton of throws that the quarterback got the ball out on time, but I mean, if you, they hung on to it at all, that the pass rusher would have got there. I thought Christian Rector was really good. Drake <coughs> Drake Jackson has thrived. Um, Hunter Eccles, Malik McLean did a nice job, and then on the uh, interior, you saw 91 and 78 get in there. So, so um, I thought overall the front uh, did did a nice job of holding up in the run, uh, stop. Stopping, stopping the run and getting, trying to get to the passer and forcing him to make uh, split decisions, uh, split second decision throws, and uh, they did a nice job. Okay. Overall, Thanks, guys. did it Thank feel you like coach. your a new Thanks, stadium? Thank did it you feel coach. like anything new? Like it, out here, did it feel like a? How awesome was it to play on the field? Did it feel yeah, like a new place? It, it was great because this this is our third time. You know, we've had two Friday nights that, that have been awesome, and we thank the, the the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum people for allowing us to come over and be able to work two Friday nights. Um, but now having the opportunity to play in front of our fans in this stadium and let them enjoy it and see their passion. We got to sign autographs today and th to see their eyes light up. This is an exciting place, and I hope every, wh whether you're a, a Trojan uh, or just a fan of football, I hope every citizen in Los Angeles gets out to come out and enjoy it because this is a gem of this city, and we hope to see you on the 31st. Good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.